Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Divinity Original Sin on PC. And last time we sold a bunch of stuff. I need to sell some more stuff actually, but... <clears throat> what does this thing do real quick? Bloodstone. As powerful as it is sinister. Oh, I needed that. Okay, that's all it does? Okay. Okay. Don't know if I need that or not. But I won't use it. Okay. Send to you. And we have some books to read. Have you read this one yet? Yes, we have. Yes. I don't think we've read this one. Okay. We've read that one. We've read that one. We've read this one. Okay, we've read this one and we've read this one, so I don't think we've read this. All right. <clears throat> I fear this missive may be the last evidence of my existence. For was I to come seeking the blasted bloodstone. Why I thought I'd managed to snag it before Pontius snagged me and left me to dangle in the breeze is my greatest and final mistake. Worst of all, I worry that I simply lack some insight or relic that might save me from this inglorious demise. Surely there must be a way off of this lonely precipice, but since I am too great a fool to find it, I bid fair Revelon farewell and await my turn to enter the Hall of Echoes. <clears throat> Scourge of the sea, bane of my every foe, my precious bloodstone has mangled and mutated many creatures in this very cove. A testament to what awaits any who'd seek to lay their filthy fingers upon my treasure. Alright, so we do have some... ...more quests to turn in, correct? All right, so the Legionnaires will. I need to find Marissa. Where is Marissa?
Abandoned church. Okay, I don't know where Marissa is. Oh, in Silver Glen. Okay. I don't know how far away Silver Glen is. Fabulous Five. We need to go to Cecil. To the mayor. Okay. Undead Scourge. Church. Okay, I need to go to her now. Okay. Her again. Headless Nick, Grieving Orc. I thought I finished this one. <coughs> With a full set of armor. Okay, stop rubbing my... F oh my god, dude, stop. Yeah, so I thought I finished that one. Oh, well, we're gonna go to Selenia. And turn in these quests. Now, this pepper. Did it sprout legs and run away? Ah, yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, I wonder... Alright, that's fine, okay. But, we can now get the chest around here. It's heating up. Yes, we can. Are there any more that are locked? Oh, I could do with a cold drink. Hmm. Okay, so there's only two that we can unlock now. Identify this one. 36 armor. This is a one handed weapon, so we won't be using this. Oh, a new one. Nice. 23. Now, there is my pepper. Did it sprout legs and run away? <coughs> <coughs> Good lord, okay. I don't want to lose movement speed. Alright. Um, <coughs> send to you. I know, so this one is weaker, unfortunately. 
Nope, okay, I won't be doing that, okay. Nice. Cool. Fair enough, game. I could do with a cold drink. Do 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 do. Divines doubly bless you, friend. Do 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 do. Anything new here? Oh no. No, I thought that was. Does he have the Islander? I could utilize this actually. Hold up now. I'm not ever going to use that one. Or that one, honestly. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Who cares? I'm not gonna use arrows. I don't need water balloons because I have rain scroll. Um, what do I not need for scrolls? Nah, I won't be using that because I got fire elsewhere. I mean, I could. Yeah, I could use that too. Alright. I'll take that one. I'll take this one. What does this do? Yeah, I'll take that. <coughs> I'll take that. I'll take that as well. I won't be using this, unfortunately. I won't be using that, unfortunately. I could use that. I don't need this. All right, I think we're set. <coughs> Dang it. Why? Lieutenant Selenia at your service. 
I'm Captain Aureus' second in command. But rest assured, I am <coughs> more kindly inclined towards source hunters than he is. Now, I certainly don't mind a bit of healthy competition and even rivalry between our orders. But I, for one, have no intention of looking a gift horse in the mouth. And that is exactly what your presence in Sysil is, Source Hunter. A gift and a blessing. <coughs> Only heroes such as yourself can make a true difference in this troubled part of the world. Such is my honest conviction. They must come from somewhere, from some vile source. I could make a feeble pun about your hunting for said source, but no. The undead are no laughing matter. All I can ask is that you don't give up on us. We need you. I want to hear the pun. Come on now. I shall be very glad to share what information I can give you. <coughs> By all means. I'll grant you that the two survivors of that expedition were a bit cowardly, but I can hardly blame them. Everyone wants to go home, even if that means indulging in deception. My legionnaires. Oh, three thousand. Perished. How fate has treated them wantonly. And if it weren't for you, the archaeologist would surely have died as well. He has much to be thankful for. Were that I had. For two years, all news has been bad news. And clearly nothing has changed. More dead, more undead, and more letters to write home to grieving widows and widowers. Still, I thank you for telling me, Source Hunter. Knowledge is better than understanding. <coughs> So I did. The Pact of Volunteers. Many Legionnaires will do whatever it takes to go home, which is why I personally sign their transfer orders the moment they make it back from a mission behind enemy lines. The chances of survival during these sorties are only about one in ten, you see. So my soldiers are free to volunteer, and if they are successful, they just bought themselves a boat ride home. Okay. <coughs> cool. We don't need those at all. Fair enough. All right, now to go to the mayor. I mean, that 3,000 didn't help much, but it helped for what it was worth. It did help. We're going to talk to the cat as well, but we'll get to that eventually. What? Oh, hello again. <laughs> Please tell me I can help you during your investigations. I know your plate is full enough to fill you for days. Wait here, I'll get my beekeeper's suit. Oh, wait! Oh, yes! The Fabulous Five! I thought you said the treacherous. Well, never mind. They just informed me that they cleared the cave of all undead presence, so I gave them the reward as promised. They just left town. The rest of the world needs saving too. Oh, they truly are fabulous. Jake? Murdered, you say? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Now I remember. Well, I'm sure the facts will prove me innocent. Keep investigating. You'll see for yourselves in time. <laughs> Maxine? What in heaven's name are you? Oh, you mean the mongrel that's always skulking about the place. I spent months trying to teach that worthless hound how to fetch, and it sat through every lesson looking at me as if I were an idiot. Man's best friend, my eye. I've always been more fond of cats myself. This mayor is a bit senile, but I love it. My elf? What elf? Oh, myself. I am Cecil, mayor of Sicile, and husband of the stately Cecilia. I've been the mayor here for decades, 
and I'm quite eager to see Sysil through these difficult times. Yes, very difficult times indeed. My dear girl, my darling adopted daughter, my pride and joy. I introduced her to my library when she was a girl. She quickly proved that the preconceptions we humans hold of orcs as savage beasts are patently false. If you're looking for something special, just ask. She knows every book by heart. Papa's smart little cookie. <laughs> Wargraf gives you a knowing look. He seems to think the mare is a few arrows short of a quiver. A source delirium, if ever I saw one. Oh, you haven't left town yet, have you? Jolly good. Join me, why don't you, for a scandalously milky saucer of feral leaf tea? Oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me, and <laughs> who can blame him? The feelings, well, rather mutual actually but that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name at the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel i can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally what if we were to have kittens he and i they'd jolly well starve wouldn't they with an alley cat for a papa oh dear sam he's such a good old bean but he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of standards. Alright. <coughs> have we upgraded that one? Yes, we have. Okay. Let's try to finish this one. So let's go... And yeah, let's try to find that armor. And if I sold it by accident, oh well. Whatever, I don't care. Okay, so here's the grieving orc. Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, no. I must have sold it by accident. Oh well. If that quest won't be finished then. Yep. Okay, whatever then. That one won't be finished. It is what it is. Just trying to find the armor that I sold and who to who I sold it to, if it's still even there, is not worth it. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, that one is later. Undead Scourge. I guess we can go back and check on this one. <coughs> that would be down here. have lived if we hadn't intervened.
Whoopsie. Report? I still nothing, sir. I suppose there just aren't any thieves around. Salutations. Source hunters, I see. I'm Sergeant Ha, <laughs> good luck getting in there. No, actually, hold up. I wonder. I have an idea. <laughs> I wonder. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. I I really want to get in there. I really want to get in there, but I can't find the key anywhere. I don't know where the key is. Oh, wait a minute. No, nope, that won't work. No, that won't work. Oh, man, that would be so cool if it would work, though. That's... No. No. There's no way that would work. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way this would work. There's no way this would work. No. No. I want to try it. I want to try it. But I, f mm, I want to try that. I really, really do. But how do I get in there again? Oh, man. I know how. It was the um, graveyard, I believe. That's how you get in there. If that works, oh man. Talk about a dirty, dirty way to get in there. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Don't man if I do. <laughs> nope, man, if I do. Actually, actually, hold up now. Done. I love my money making ideas. All right, uh, I need to, yeah, I need to, to yeah, I need to do this, and then yeah, okay. I stole his painting he was working on. Oh my dear. I also should probably do this as well. Hold up now. Perhaps wrestling an earth Ellen. Ah, oh, gracious patron. I see your tarred eyes looking a bit teary. I've just the potion for that. Or would you prefer a toasty fire spell to dry those vapors? Money! I don't know what these are for. I really don't. Hmm. 
But it's whatever. All right. Money has been made. We're rich again. No, 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 no. Put them back. backpack at all. That's cool. Alright, now we're going back, I believe, up to the graveyard. Oh, I wonder, can we get... Have I done that one room yet? Hold on, no. It'll be in the inn upstairs. Up here, I believe. Yes, up here. Have I gone into the final room back here, or am I not able to yet? <gasps> I haven't done it yet. Really? I'll take that. Is there any more paintings in here I can take? No. I don't need that at all. Really, that's it? Dude, like, that just doesn't seem... This was not worth it. What the heck? Whatever, okay. Kinda disappointing, but whatever. Oh, I hate this one. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Bummer. Bummer sauce. Whatever. Oh, hey, I can sell to you now, can't I? How gratifying to see you return. You are quickly becoming my favorite customer. Lore Master? I don't really need Lore Master right now, but whenever I do, I will consider doing it. That's more movement. Dang. That's 10 more armor. I don't think it's worth that price though. That was not worth stealing. Cool. Good to know. That it was not worth stealing. Now I'm disappointed that I went into that room because there was nothing in there. Now I know. Time to make a sad save of the game. And now we move on with our main objective. I need a drink. Hold up. Let me get me a drink of some water. Ignore the loud noises. Okay, it wasn't that loud. But now it is. Oh, who are you? Who is this guy? Oh, how nice <coughs> it is. 
the very picture of youth, to break the monotony of an elder's day, wild away on this hardwood bench. Uh, sure, I'll buy that. Pray, let me be forward with you, O oh, sapling rose, O oh, leaf <coughs> spring, for my weary mind is troubled and would highly prize thy gentle handed assistance, thy, thy kind ministrations. I am but an aged elf that has seen the years parade in long succession. Gladly shall I tell you more. Will I regale thee, O whelp of men, with my tale? Uh, but not here, where the winds may steal my words. You would, you, you would listen to my grievances? Guide me towards untroubled realms? Oh, you are truly a wonder. Oh, budding flower of the morn. Yet, that which I would tell you is of a rather private nature. So let us escape both the chill and the eye of public scrutiny. This seems... Um... Suspicious. Hot spiced wine and a snug little room awaits us on the King Crab's first floor. Let us go there so that we can warm our bones, yet make shiver our hearts with a tale of loss and sorrow. There's only two rooms on the first floor. One of them was destroyed. The other one is occupied by another person. But okay, I guess we will meet you there after we go and um, nonchalantly pilfer graves again, because yes. Oh, I... Wow, that Esmeralda, Jake has the best spell. I already told you, it's not Cecil. All right. I accidentally skipped that because I was waiting for it to progress. So my apologies, but now we know it's not Cecil. Or Cecil. So we... Can drop those because we don't need them anymore. And I believe we need to go this way. What is that one? What is that one? That way leads to a house. That's still on fire. Are you serious? Okay. Not anymore, it's not. I was right, okay, so. Oh, there's a roof on it. Oh, I did not know. Oh, there's a roof on it. 
Oh, never mind. This won't work at all. <coughs> oh, there's a roof on it. Dang it. But... I, w I want to see something real quick. What's on the roof? Target out of sight. My butt! <laughs> How is it? What? Target too far, my butthole. Okay, what's the maximum distance on this? Okay. Right there. So this ain't gonna work then. Fair enough. We tried it, it ain't gonna work. Dang it. I wanted to try that so bad. But it ain't gonna work. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, it's so awesome if it would work, but it won't. Oh well. No big deal. All right. Um. What other quests? Oh yeah, let's just go ahead and just do this one, I guess, because this is a new one to me. Like, in general, a new one to me. So let's go ahead and do this quest. He's still on the first floor, right? But I don't see him here. This is the first floor. Meet him in his room. Is he up here? Oh, he's up here. This is the second floor. By the filed teeth. Oh. Ah, <laughs> you have come. Yes, <laughs> that is most satisfactory. <laughs> Be gone, uh, brittle mask of age. Hear me now. Repeat the words of Brittle Tooth, the child snatcher of Carador. Come, play with me. For I'm hungry. Come, play, play, play. The game, yes. A game of blood and brutality, of death and dexterity. <laughs> Fun as herring the horror Harlequin. But like the serpentine stalker, this is before the stab. Hush now. Darkness, darling. Hush. Hush, and listen to my tale. The elves of Gandavon, they lived in peace. Oh, yes. But one night, when the moon had hid her face, the orcs of the tribe of Kazuldagar beset our city. They cooked and ate and burned every last one of us. The light of dawn never saw an elf of Gandavum no more. All her night, <coughs> every last one of us. Except for me, the Midnight Rambler, 
away from the city. I was very old back then already, though indeed I whisper of many years hence. But death shall not find me. Oh no, not until every beast of Kazaldegar has been bled. I may be frail, a withered grey, but the wealth of kings is mine. Countless assassins have ministered to the vengeance that is my want, and now is almost over. By Kala, Lady of the Last Gaze, I swear it is almost done. Only the very last one of the Khazal de Gaz still eludes me. The crowning kill that would seal its fate and mine alike. I have tracked her down by the curse of the spine spear I have. She does not know her ill-shapen son is setting fast. Color the dusk red, O oh sword of youth. Bloody the day with the bramble sap that runs through the veins of Victoria. Bring me the amulet that clings to her flesh, soon to fade. <laughs> and yours shall be the bounty of vindication. Mine shall be its sanguine satisfaction after long, long thirst. <coughs> mm, okay. Yes. Victoria. She is the one whose heart must be held in hand. The heart around which the fingers of that hand must clench and tighten until its choking flesh bulges with blood and its beat slowly breaks. The orcs of Gazultica, they knew my name. Oh, yes. By the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design. And so they sought to save their last. An infant. She who was to be queen. To no avail. Oh, no. Years, how many, I know not. Years, I, I searched. And now she has been found. Her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being. But by the fork of Barbara Maneater, she is nothing but an orc, a cyst of nature, one of a misbegotten litter dragged into life from the tumored womb of a filthy, coarse haired beast that was humped like a dog in the darkness of a stinking hollow. You can say the same thing for human females. On the last part of that. Victoria, librarian, daughter, <laughs> adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Sicile. There is bloodlust in you. I can feel it. Let it out. Set it free. Undo the last of the Kazaldagar. By the breasts of Sishara Goatsakra, give me my revenge! This guy is insane. My name is Eglin. The part about about the part about them breeding like dogs, you can say that about every creature. Every creature breeds like dogs or bunny rabbits or whatever. Come on now. That was quite the radical change we witnessed. I never would have thought that the benign old man we met outside would turn out to be a vengeance-driven aficionado of assassins. It all in blood! Indeed. Victoria probably doesn't even know about her past. And yet she's on a, let's call him, eccentrics hit list. Forgiving, what does that give us? A man to curse. The last will be beaten. Beaten like the anvil of Grog, the torturer. All hail Grog. All hail his hot steeled instruments. All right, I guess we will go talk to Victoria then.
That guy is so senile. Good lord. I mean... It's over here. Uh, can I talk to Cecil first? Oh, hello again. Please tell me how I can help you doing your investigations. And someone wants to see Victoria dead? That cherub of the book? That seraph of the library? Outrageous! Hear you me. You must stop that dog by any means necessary. As mayor of Sicil, you have my permission to take drastic measures if need be. Well, you have my... Okay. To do what you... Okay. Torja, get a friend. Phonology for dumbbells. Here is sore. Oh, do pardon my language, my friend. But that is quite the startling revelation. So much sadness, so much anguish. Eglindir's tale is heartrending, though it seems that in the pursuit of retribution, he has himself become as great a ghoul as those that wronged him. Does he not see that I am now the one who is to be wronged? Why, oh why must he make me, of all gentle-minded and life-loving creatures, why must he make me the target of his imperishable hate? Whom have I ever harmed? I live for books, not brutality. So. Let us approach the situation with reason and ask ourselves, where do we go from here? Though, first let me say this. From my heart, I thank you for warning me. I thank you and I trust you. So pray, let me pose the question. What do you advise we should do? Leg fizzoda! Yes, a capital notion. Let him be brought before the law for his schemes. I am an innocent. And Eglindir would see me dead. That is a grave offense, is it not? And the first it would edition probably to... be better if you rather than I informed Captain Aureus, though. He bears little goodwill toward me ever since my more savage brethren have been marauding the beaches and killing his legionnaires. No, this isn't the grimoire I'm looking for. Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? All right, we will go turn him in. Because <clears throat> I'm not going to have her killed. That's just stupid. He, that guy is just, he's outrageously just, no. Nope. That guy is a lunatic. If I want to have her killed, I'm sorry. It's over this way. Hour. Whom would you have the Legion arrest? The Elf! What in the name of Ahu's arse should I arrest him for? Nonsense. The man is just senile and quite harmless. Listen, what we handle ourselves, we handle better than the Legion, don't we? Oh no, we'll do as I say, and there's an end to it. So, he wants you to kill that savage the mayor calls his daughter, does he? Hardly seems a crime to do so, but I guess I cannot allow assassinations to take place. I won't arrest him unless I have some actual evidence, though. Or did you think I'd simply take your word for fact? <laughs> as I suspected. Well, I guess we'll take matters into our own hand then. Cool. Okay. Never trust Arius. Because he's a douchebag. Guns. Douchebaggins. 
All right, we're gonna take matters into our own hands. And I know how to do that too. Oh, Mr. Wolgraf. <laughs> you wanna have some fun with this guy? Because I know you do. The mayor said we can do whatever we want, and this is what we're going to do. Do, do. Now to keep them out. <laughs> We're taking care of it. The mayor said we can take care of it however we wanted. Wolgraf, come here, I need to talk to you. Hey, stop! Wolgraf! You've noticed that Wolgraf has been lingering by the dead body of the person you've just slain, watching his own reflection mirrored in blood. His face is set in a grim snarl, and his eyes are locked in a thousand-yard stare. Mm. Wolgraf nods. He seems to understand perfectly well this was not a normal situation, and he seems to take great comfort in your words. <laughs> oh, they get to sneak right by it. Well, we're gonna get out. <laughs> Boy, we didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> and safe. <laughs> <laughs> we killed him, now we should inform her that she is safe. Deal. I mean, Arius wouldn't take care of it, so, I mean, why not us? We even got some XP for it, so, you know, there's that. Brief history of sorcery still hasn't been returned to his Jageta friend. Fudge! You you killed him. I had so hoped no more blood needed spilling, but I suppose it is not for me to judge your actions. The sun that is your chivalry has dissolved the dew that was Eglindir's hate. May the gods bless your heart and shield your soul from harm. The pseudo monarchia de Mo. What? And the first edition too. Most promising. Dude, well, thanks for this. We don't really need Lore Master right now. Who placed this book here? The lesser Are key of Sadakandras. What nonsense. Mayhem. The pseudo monarchy of Demona. The first edition, too. Most promising. I really don't want to lose. I know what I'll do. Yeah, I'll do that. That way I can stun as well, because Earth doesn't stun. Yeah, that's what I'll do. 
All right, and with that, I am going to put a cut in the video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, guys.